Hi, it's Mr. C from Dividen. This is a quick overview of the Unicorn Bundle. We're going to discuss how to install the Assistant plugin and how to load and update layouts and modules. First, I want to recommend that you install the Assistant plugin. This is the fastest and easiest way to get started. It will just take you seven minutes to get going. You get awesome library previews, which only comes with the plugin. You can use it with any Divi theme or Divi child theme. You get automatic updates, and this is a big one because Divi brings out regular updates. We test them, make sure they work, and then we give you the update in the dashboard. You get guaranteed compatibility with all the other Dividend products and future products, and you'll get simplified custom CSS changes. Before we begin, make sure you have the Divi theme installed or a Divi child theme. Make sure to deactivate all caching plugins or caching on your website. Check our knowledge base for articles on that. And if you want to make a custom integration without the plugin, check our knowledge base for an article on how to do that. Word of warning, this is for experienced users. Uh, that will get you going ASAP. Let's install the plugin. So you want to go to your development site or the site you want to install on, then log into your admin dashboard, go to plugins and install plugins, add new. And then we want to navigate to the zip file that you downloaded. Let's choose it here. It does say unzip, so make sure to unzip it and then look inside that folder for the Unicorn Assistant plugin and install now. So let's install that and then we can activate the plugin after it's been installed. And then we can go to the dashboard and have a quick look at some of those settings. So under the navigation, you go to settings, Unicorn 2.0 Assistant, and you can click the link here to go to the knowledge base. This will buff out over time as we put in video tutorials and, and it grows. So you can see how to install the Assistant plugin, uh, how to manually integrate it into a child theme without the Assistant plugin, or how to migrate from Unicorn 1 if you owned that before. Uh, let's go back and see what else we've got. How to make uh, custom CSS color changes. There's some explanations here. Uh, we'll make a separate video for that and also separate videos for every single one of those modules. You can open the master CSS color changer file from there. This will get updated whenever it needs to be updated. So all you have to do is update the plugin and then come to this particular place for the dashboard and then click on the link and then you can download the file and do what you need to do from there. There's also a system status report. This is just in case it is needed. So let's go further and um, let's go and import the library. Let's navigate to Divi, Divi library and then we want to hit the import export button, import and then we want to navigate to that file. It's again in your zip file, Unicorn Bundle 2.0, all modules, library import. So click that one, click open and start importing. So this can take a while, uh, depending on the speed of your internet connection. Uh, if you have any problems with this upload process, if you get an error here, check our knowledge base for increasing the WordPress upload limit, where we give you all the details on how to uh, update your server to be able to upload this file. Once this is uploaded, we are just gonna wait for it to reload. And from there, we can go and look at importing some of these sections. And I'll show you the nice library preview. So let's go to pages. I've already got a test page. And there's two ways that you can import. So either you can load from library. If you do it over here at the top, that means you're going to get a complete page layout. So yeah, we've got team landing page Divi layout. Let's do that one quickly. I'll load it. That was a nice library preview as you saw there. Now we can click the update button and then let's open this in a new tab and then we'll see there it is, all of it. All the CSS has been added. Uh, as you can see, the hovers are there. All the scripts are there. 
everything you need is already included with the plugin so now you can use the visual builder you can go in and change the text you can change the colors and do everything you need to do so that's for a page layout let's um, edit this one quickly again and i'll show you how else it can be done so clear the layout yes so let's load a module you want to click add from library at the bottom there and here we can see all the individual module as thumbnails so here's one a six of eight divi person module now you can insert individual modules into the page so let's do that one and uh, let's just clear that space let's click the update button and let's open this in a new tab and have a look there you go it's all there and set now you can use the visual builder and update some content if uh, you prefer to use the visual builder alternatively you can switch to edit page and just update it at the back over here let's use this one as an example so name surname you can add the twitter profile links uh, you can change the person link there if you want you can change the image and you can get all the things changed and move on from there so that wraps it up for this introduction video for the unicorn bundle assistant how to install it and if you want to see the advanced training on uh, how to change custom css colors check our knowledge base to get going on those thanks a lot for watching and we hope you enjoy the unicorn bundle